Since 1994, say fast and more, our reliable name, mixcat.com. Over the contact, so I'll run into a problem. That one we know is going to go back down on it, so that's, that's all right. Position of the cells look good, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a stripe down the, the connectors here. This is non conductive so I'm not really worried about this. This is really just to add a little strength to the cells and give a gap from the PVC on the, the back side. This is going to look great when we're done, I promise. I'm running out here. Yeah. It's looking like that's where the buck stops. All right, need some more. But you get the idea. I'm just going to glue this down, and PVC is going to go on the other side. Alright, I'm going to finish up with some clear. Again, we're just trying to... It looks white now, but this will not be white when it dries. This is just going to add a little strength. I'm not going crazy with it. You won't even see this from the other side, I promise. try to upload this this evening. It is Thursday. Well, pretty much Friday. And I will finish this up on Friday to have up for the weekend, I promise. Maybe even put it up on the roof this weekend. I just like the stuff on the, the edges just to be safe. This, these cells are so fragile. Looks like icing. Don't have to be perfect, but when it dries, this is going to be clear and give us the gap we need. Just finish up our kind of left off there. Beautiful. Uh, here's a shot of the label. This is the uh, PVC style plastic paneling that I picked up at Lowe's. Um, just in case you're kind of curious of what it is and uh, where I got it. Again, it's Lowe's. This is pretty durable stuff. Um, let me kind of pan out here. And if you've seen the other video that I put up, um, you can see there's the piece missing from it. That's the, the original panel I put together. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out another piece for the new panel. Yes, I don't have to do much explaining here. Um, basically, 
I'm just lining up this uh, glass panel with the edges, um, just a normal folding knife, sharpened, and I'm going to cut this to size. Just be careful when you use sharp razors or knives or what have you. Really that easy. I'm just kind of scoring it and I'm going to bend it along those cuts and finish it up. Beautiful. And be careful with this tempered glass. You don't want to bang an edge because it will break. All right. Okay, really simply, we got our terminals right here. I'm going to lay this on top, and I'm actually just going to kind of score um, where these terminals are. I might just use a scissor, see if that works. Yeah, we'd right about there and one right about there. Well, we're almost done here. This is pretty exciting. I can't wait to get it on the, the roof. Unfortunately, it's 87 degrees in my garage right now and it's 113 on the uh, in the attic so I can only imagine what it is on the tar on the roof. So we're going to let it cool down a little bit before we attempt going up there and working in that kind of heat. I like the sun, but uh, it's a little, uh, little crazy. Okay, works him out good. Soldering iron's coming up to temperature now. This is where an extra set of hands works nicely. Mm -hmm. There we are. Use a knife to hold it there. All right, work. All right, now we got plenty of tab on there to make our connection. And you saw it on Silicone still a little sticky. That and it's pretty hot out here, so that might be part of it. All right, I'm going to slide him through. Slide this guy through. That should be just fine. Line this up as best we can. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting that C channel, the aluminum C channel, to size. Are looking really good. Let me just hit that with the voltmeter and make sure we're, we're putting something out. So you guys can see uh, where I'm getting. Yeah, a little bit under a, a volt, but this is facing down. I'm going to pick it up a little. Ah, yeah, that work. Pick it up a little. Yeah, she goes up. Okay. So we're okay. No shorts, that's a good sign. Don't want to put the whole thing together and figure out we got a short on it. Alright, we're lined up pretty good here. Okay, let's grab that C channel and start measuring this thing. Alright. Look at that, huh? It's starting to look like something. with a hacksaw and cut this to size. Uh, how good that blade is. We'll try this one.
still not rocket science easy stuff. Aluminum you can buzz through pretty easy. There we are. There. Alright, I'm gonna finish that up on my grinding wheel here. I'm going to need to go to uh, Lowe's and pick up some more seat channel, it's looking like. I'm not going to have enough to do the whole thing this go. But as you can see, we cut him to size. There we go. Looks good. Looks real good. Now we're just going to make uh, three more of those and glue them into place. Pretty simple stuff right here. Just going to go ahead and start to seal these uh, seat channels. Put a little bit of silicone in them. And it looks white coming out, but this dries clear. It's weatherproof, waterproof. There we are. All right, put that edge here and just kind of tap it in. Here. All right, and for the other side. All right, now that we got the angle iron on, I'm going to go ahead and seal the angle iron to the back. Just put a little bead all the way across and do this all the way around. Not real exciting stuff, but necessary. This is going to keep all the water out. That's our main concern. how I kind of smooth it out. I get myself a bag, put it over my finger, and just go over it like so. And I'll smooth everything up into the crevices and make it all seat nice. Again, this side's not going to be seen. This is the underneath. This thing is just to make sure it seals well. It's really good. All right, well, I'll give you guys a sneak preview here minute or two, I'll flip it up. Actually, I'm curious. Let's take a look. Oh, that looks beautiful. Looks good. Oh, that's a beauty. I'm excited. I, I tested it. Uh, looking good. All the little white that you see on here will actually turn clear. So I'll do a shot of when this is all 
uh, totally cured. But yeah, it looks great. I'm hoping to put another a tent or so on the roof exactly like this one. And hopefully, if tomorrow's not too hot, I'll try to get this up on the roof and show you guys that. All right, thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed that.